Welcome dear audience and students here I am Dr. Amjad Ali in this video we will learn about uh, different uh, main points to consider when reading a research article in empirical finance before moving toward the detailed discussion about uh, the points to consider when reading articles in empirical finance let me give you the meaning of research. Research is a common phrase refers to a search for a knowledge. The advanced learner dictionary of current English lays down the meaning of research as a careful investigation or inquiry, especially to search for new facts in any branch of a knowledge. According to Klimford, Woody research comprises defining and redefining problem, formulating hypotheses or suggesting solution, collecting organizing and evaluating data, making deductions and reaching conclusions and at least uh, we can say careful testing of uh, uh, the conclusion to determine whether they fit the formulating hypothesis or not. Okay, there are uh, some main hallmarks for the good scientific research. The first one is purpose, purposeness. While uh, conducting any scientific research, there must be a purpose uh, available in research. Like a manager has started search uh, with a defined aim or a purpose that the focus is to increase the commitment of the employee to the organization as this will be beneficial in many ways like an increase in employee commitment will translate into lesser uh, turnover less uh, lesser absentees and probably increase the performance of the employees which is beneficial for the organization so there must be a purpose behind any type of research rigor while discussing about the rigorness the, this means that uh, you have to conduct your study very carefully uh, uh, when you are selecting a, a, any theoretical model that must be a, a, a careful selection when you are, are collecting the data there must be a, a careful selection when you are analyzing the data there must be a, a careful selection so rigorousness represent the, the carefulness of the study okay the third one is testability <clears throat> Whenever you are conducting any type of scientific research, they, it, this research can be testable uh, or can be test uh, can be tested by any of the individual uh, uh, in the universe. So, so scientific research lends itself for testing logical uh, 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 by developing hypotheses. So see the so see the that uh, are hype. Uh, our data is supported or our developed hypothesis or not. So testability is a very very much important uh, for a scientific research. The fourth one is the replicability. Any of the scientific research uh, can be replicable. If this is not then this, um, this may be not called a scientific research. So uh, uh, anyone uh, in the world or your peers uh, can replicate your research uh, for testing either you are going uh, a wrong way or a, a right way so replicability of scientific research is a very very much important the fifth the precision and confidence in many many research we seldom that uh, we have the luxury of uh, uh, being able to draw a definite conclusion on the basis of the results of the data because uh, we are unable to study the universe so we can say that the whole population or events uh, was uh, uh, because we are interested to study the whole population but uh, but in real life we cannot uh, especially in many many sciences cases so uh, w uh, our results are based on on a sample analysis so uh, there must be a, a, a chance to see that how much confidence level or precision we are, are 
giving our study so when we are talking about the precision it is it refers to the closeness of the finding to the reality that how much our our sample is presenting our population when we are talking about the confidence the confidence refer to the probability that our estimates are correct because we are conducting our, our sample analysis so how much we are confident that this um, sample is close to the population analysis our sixth uh, hallmark for the scientific research is objectivity <coughs> when we are talking about the objective the more objective uh, um, objectivity of the research the more importance of the research the conclusion drawn uh, from our uh, research or for, from our uh, data analysis should be have some type of objective uh, they should be based on the fact on the finding driven uh, driven uh, from the actual data and not uh, on our own subjective or emotional value so objectivity is a uh, is very much important for uh, any type of scientific research okay generalizability when we are talking about the generalizability that uh, the outcome of the result can be generalized for the whole uh, uh, population like generalized generalizability refers to the scope of applicability of the research finding in one organization setting to the uh, <clears throat> to the other obviously the wider range of the applicability of the solution generated by the research the more useful uh, uh, of this research for the other users as well if uh, if an organ if a single organization conducted any type of research and these results can be utilized by any other uh, organization at the same time okay last one is uh, uh, is the parsimony when we are talking about the parsimony that, that we can say that the simplicity in explaining the phenomenon or problem that occur and in in generating the solution for the problem is always preferred to a complex uh, research framework that consider as an unmanageable number of factor so we have uh, uh, used uh, such a sample or such uh, uh, such work which can be easily mani manageable so the achievement of meaningful uh, research is technically called the parsimony hallmark of the research okay uh, here we have uh, some hallmarks uh, of good research paper as well okay uh, the first one uh, we can say that it is based on the work of the others when whenever we are conducting any type of scientific research it is based by the literature so uh, if you are conducting any type of scientific research it is based on the work of others so it can be replicated and double we can say that we can uh, anyone can replicate your study it is generalizable to other setting it is based on some logical rationals and tied to theory in a way that uh, has a potential to suggest a direction for the future research it generate new questions are cyclical or cyclical uh, cyc uh, in a nature we can say that uh, anyone um, can um, <coughs> uh, can use our steps uh, with the passage of time so it is an incremental so uh, when we are talking about the incremental so this mean that it is a fruitful contribution towards the literature it address directly or indirectly some real problem in the world it clearly state that the variables are constructs to be examined valid and very verifiable such that whether uh, whatever you conclude on the basis of your finding is correct and can be verified uh, <coughs> by your peers or by yourself or by others the researcher is sincerely interested or invested in this research so in case uh, you are conducting any type of research so you are investing your time and money in for conducting such type of research so these are the hallmarks for the good research paper
so okay there are some hallmarks for the bad research paper also that uh, it is the opposite of whatever we have discussed in our uh, previous session uh, looking for uh, something uh, when it simply is not to be founded whenever a researcher uh, doing so this uh, shows a bad research paper qualities okay plagiarize plagiarizing other work so plagiarism is a is a, is a, uh, is a no universal crime so whenever we are plagiarizing other work so this is a bad research paper a bad research practice so falsifying data to prove a point when uh, whenever a researcher is indulged its uh, herself or himself uh, uh, by manipulating data in such a way that uh, he or she can get his or her desired results so technically this is a, um, a bad hallmark for uh, for the research paper okay misrepresenting information and misleading uh, participation uh, if the researcher is uh, practicing such uh, scenarios then uh, uh, this will consider a bad a hallmark for the research paper you can say that a bad uh, research paper okay here are some main points to consider when reading a published research article in empirical finance the first one is does the paper involve the development of theoretical model or it is merely a technique looking for an application so that the motivation for the whole exercise is a poor are the data of good quality are they from a reliable sources is the size of the samples significantly large uh, are sufficiently large for model estimation task at hand if not then the whole exercise will be will be vague have the technique be, uh, been uh, validly applied have tests been conducted for possible violation of any assumption made in the estimation of the model have the results been interpreted sensibly is the strength of the results are uh, we can say exaggerated so uh, do the result actually obtained relate to the question posed by the authors can the results be replicable replicated by the other researchers are the conclusion drawn appropriate given the results or have uh, importance of the result for the paper have been overstated these are the main points whenever you find any type of of research paper in, in empirical finance in applied finance or, or somehow you can say in in, in 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 any type of many management sciences studies so this is all about uh, related to the points considered for the uh, reading a published research paper as well as some hallmarks of good research and some hallmarks of of uh, good research paper and some hallmarks of bad research paper okay thank you see you with another video ciao